right here, right? You going right here, right? You going right here, right? Yo, who we calling? Man, I'm not sure. So many good suggestions out there. Here's one from a subscriber that made a submission, man. It looks kind of good. Looks like a good call to make this week. Who's that? Tell me. Whit Bros. Uh, Witty Bros. Whit Bros, I guess. They're out of uh, Troy, Missouri. Man, I haven't heard of them. I really haven't. With bros, huh? Any any uh any background? Any background on them right quick? Well, this subscriber sent me the information. And uh from the information, it looks like it's a uh it's a school. It's a they they offer a school. It's a refrigerated trucking company and it's a LTL company. You know, look like they've got like logistics out of there too. So sounds uh sounds pretty good, you know? Sounds interesting, man. Yo, let's make the call. Yo, what's up, Lockout Men here in the truck, making the calls for you guys. What's going on, y'all? Hey, I am glad that you guys here. We got another, another subscriber suggestion to make the call. If you guys want me to make a call to anybody or you got any suggestions that you guys want me to, to call, make sure you leave it in the comments below or when i post uh in the community post make sure you guys leave your suggestions there you guys can also hit me up in the gmail lockoutmen at gmail.com or you can come to my instagram and hit me up there let me know who you guys want me to call next i'm telling you so many suggestions that you guys be giving me i man i i gotta choose i gotta choose you guys suggestions by random chooser now i just I, I put I put all the names in there and it just and then boom it just pops up. Well, this episode features Witty Bros. Yes, sir. Witty Bros. Exchange out of Troy, Missouri. And this came from a subscriber. He says, let me see if I could pop it up. Is this it? There we go. This one came up right here. My man, John Lewis. He suggests that I call Witty Bros Exchange out of Troy, Missouri. Man, check this out, Troy, Missouri. Now, I just talked to him, you know, because this is this is like I'm doing the intro or the intro before because I already talked to him. But they already have a, a 150 mile radius. So they're not hiring out of all 48 states. They are just hiring out of the 50 mile radius so john lewis i know you said that you're interested in uh witty bros so but if you live within 150 miles of troy missouri then good you get in there i'm telling you the, the so far the information i got from them pretty good pretty good you 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 guys would would know but he says that Call Witty Bros. He said Witty Bros has changed. It's a truck driving school, refrigerated trucking company, and LTL carrier offering food, uh, sorry, offering cold and frozen storage and a cold, cold chain management. I got my little thing blocking right there. So let's flip over and see what Witty Bros is about and see what they got to offer. Boom! There it is. Witty Bros, company driver. They said, why witty? Well, we're looking for what we're looking for the best of the best. In turn, you'll receive the respect and support you deserve from a dispatch management. That is the witty way. 
They said if you're an experienced driver that's looking for great pay, steady freight, and a welcoming working place, you belong there. They've been in business for 60 years, and their philosophy of consistency, honesty, accountability, respect, and teamwork remains the same. What they offer, what they offer, they offer top earnings of $80,000, meaning the one young lady didn't want to tell me, but the uh, supervisor told me that they start at 48 cent a mile. So that's, uh, that's, that's, a, good, that's a good starting. They offer weekly home time. Now, the one recruiter that I talked to said that being, I guess, I guess from the area that I was at, if I was to actually come in there, I would be out for four weeks, home for four days. That's kind of scary. You actually got to be out for a month to be home for four days out of that month. Crazy, right? But still, still. Some drivers stay out longer than that, man. They got paid vacation. They got a rider policy. No touch freight options available. So if you don't want to touch the freight, then go that route. But if you want to make more money and touch the freight, I guess they got that route. They got trainer opportunities available. Vacation, health, dental, and vision plan available. 401k available. Uh, company paid life insurance, modern, well-maintained equipment with amenities. That's what I did not get from them. Let's go to the reviews. Let's go to ND. All right. Witty Bros has changed. ND, 3.6 stars out of 33 reviews. So right here, they says that it's a good place to get a start in trucking three uh three stars four stars small family environment yeah I'm, I'm thinking that this is a small company a big company in a small town represented as an employer and corporate social responsibility official response oh, okay uh let's see four Great family business, great school, friendly people, great trucking company to work for. We'll highly recommend it to new drivers and older drivers, too. Okay. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Crooks and liars. Laugh out loud. First run away from this company. They took my entire paycheck knowing that I have eight kids to support. When I tried to make the payment arrangements to pay off my school, they pulled out a non-compete uh, non -compete agreement trying to stop me from getting to any other kind of job. I don't see home. I don't see home. They can say that they're family oriented at all. Greed runs through this company. They've been putting stuff on my DAC report. They charge me $660 to return their truck to them when I decide to quit. I call, I call the, I call September of labor. I was supposed to get a $530 check back from my final check, only sent me $380. Now here's the official response from Riddy Bros. I, this dude was all over the place. We're sorry for your experience with Witty Bros was not a good one. You were under contract when you quit without notice while you were on while you was on a dispatch. You refused a reload and decided to drive an empty trailer back to the yard. You were rightfully charged for those empty miles. The information reported on your deck is factual. We are a good company who provides you with top-notch training and support. The decision to leave and not honor your commitment was yours. Although your success here was not likely, your attitude would eventually end your career with us. Best of luck to you. Oh my God. From there, it goes from five, 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 five. So only a few. Like I said before in my last video, sometimes you just have to take what drivers say about a company 
with a grain of salt. All right, with that said, let's get into the video. Darren with Witty Brothers, can I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, is this Wit Bros? Witty Bros, yes. Oh, Witty Bros. That's how you pronounce uh -huh. it. Okay, Witty yep. Bros. All right, all right. Hey, uh, how, how's it going today, man? Uh, my name's good. Good. My name, my name is Sean, man, and um, I'm okay. in this I'm in this Facebook group, right? And we was just gotcha. talking. About, we was talking about different uh, trucking companies and stuff like that. And one mm -hmm. of the um, one of the uh, one of the guys in the group was telling me how good Whip Bros is. And I'm over here like, okay. I'm over here like, huh? All right. Well, maybe I should uh, I should give them a call, check them out, see see what's up with them right. right quick, right quick. So um. Is where, it a, uh, well, it, I know you, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I know you got a, a 216 area code. Where, where are you from? Where are you located at? Where uh, hometown? I'm out of Ohio. Ohio? Yes. Um, just to be upfront with you right now, I have a 150-mile uh, radius, hiring radius right now from Troy, Missouri. Okay. Um, that could change, you know, like uh, first of the year. But right now, I, I do have a... A hundred and fifty mile radius from from Troy, Missouri. Um, we uh, we uh, we're doing very well here. So, um, but yeah, do you have any questions for me though? Yes, yes, very much so. I actually I do have mm -hmm. some questions, man. Maybe uh, maybe okay. it might not maybe it might not work out for me, but uh, definitely it could other people, yeah, right? Definitely for other people, man. So uh, so you know, like I said, I was in a Facebook group, and uh, and one mm -hmm. of the gentlemen was telling me that you guys. You know, not only do refrigerated, but y'all do LTL and y'all have a truck driving school as well. So we, that is uh, that is very true. Yes. Okay. So a little bit about the uh, truck driving school, man. Do you guys? Uh, uh huh. Uh, so you guys do offer CDL training. So is the is the travel and the meals in the hotel is covered? We uh, what we do have is um, we we do have free lodging here. Mm -hmm. It's on site. Mm -hmm. um, we do not cover meals, but we do have uh, free housing. Oh, okay. Is the uh, is the students that's coming into the school are are they paid while they're going through the schooling? Well, I, I, our school is actually in two phases. Phase one, they are not, but in phase two, they are. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what's the so what's the obligations to the company once they make it through? Um, it is a uh, it is a one year. Okay. What contract with Witty? Yep. What's what's the penalty if if they if they leave before that obligation is up? Um, if they do, uh, if you would to uh, were to actually leave us at that point, then you'd be obligated to the uh, the full uh, full price of our school. Full price of the school. Yeah. Yes. So, um, so let me ask you now let me ask you this mm -hmm. are you guys like for example um how, how can i say this um for example like if mm -hmm. if if the if the student decides not to uh uh let's say he does that and he you know he leaves and you know decide to go elsewhere uh, do you guys do like other companies and withhold information for the next company, you know, that's trying to hire him on? Would, would you guys do that? Um, well, uh, I, I tell you what, how about, uh, I, I, for that question, let me turn you over to our, uh, my supervisor. Okay. Okay. Um, and I will, I'll send you right over there. Her name is uh, Christine. Okay. Christine. Hold okay. on one second. Cool. Yep. One minute, 37 seconds later. Witty Brothers, this is Christine. Hey, Christine. How you doing today? I'm um, well. How are you? All right. I was just talking to a, a gentleman in a recruiting there for a second. Uh, he decided to, uh, he thinks that uh, I would probably be better off talking to you because basically what I'm doing is just getting general information about the company. Uh, unfortunately for me, I'm I'm out of Ohio, and I guess I'm out of your 150 mile radius. Well, then again, I I do got some people that do stay up in uh, Missouri. Plus, y'all got a good casino up there too. 
We got a couple of them, actually. I know, right? And I played at mm -hmm. all of them. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> I was asking him about, uh, well, the first few questions that I had before I actually got into the to the generalization of the of the of the questions that I do want to get into was that one of them was which he was telling me about the uh, the the training, the 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 schooling that you guys offer. Um, mm -hmm. So he was telling me about the obligations and everything. What my question to him was, and he thought that you probably might be better suited to add or answer, is so let's say I go through the schooling, right? I get my license right. from you. I'm working for you guys, but I don't fulfill the uh, the year obligation. What will happen to me? Um, what will happen to me? if i don't fulfill that and also would you guys like hold up my information for me from uh from other companies for me to get into a, uh, another company to drive for i mean we don't withhold any kind of information i mean if you don't fulfill your contract then um we'll give you 30 days to pay your contract if you don't pay it in 30 days we'll send it to collections collections then will come after you you can make payment arrangements with them um, oh, okay. What we'll put on your DAC um, is is just exactly how it is you quit with us. So if you quit under contract, then we'll just put on your DAC that you quit under contract. Oh, okay, okay. Because see, I've been I've been hearing horror stories from uh, from other guys in the group that I'm in. I'm in a Facebook group as well. I've been hearing horror stories from them, like when they trying to get in with another company, but that said company withhold their information from from getting them to get with another company so okay let me let me just be real 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 clear about some things with that okay yes ma'am so first off when anytime you're in a group conversation like that and somebody's talking about how a company did them wrong you need mm. to really truly read between the lines exactly because more than likely more than likely they they broke a contract they, mm -hmm. they committed their time Mm -hmm. And this company committed their time and energy into growing that employee, and then that 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 employee went and tried to like chase a bonus or mm -hmm. go try to mm -hmm. see things greener on another side. So then they love to go out there and say that they were wronged. Well, unfortunately, we're very we like to be very transparent. Right. If if you do not fulfill your contract, I am going to put it on your deck that you quit us under contract. I am not going to lie or sugarcoat your situation. Exactly. Um. If you if you want your deck to read great and well then don't quit under contract fulfill okay. your obligation okay okay so or get fired under contract because i'm sure you guys still going to come after them for that money right right and also we'll do is put terminated under contract and i mean we're, we're not in the business to hire somebody to fire them so if they're getting fired it's for a legitimate reason exactly you exactly. know cell phones cell phones or accidents or mm -hmm. you know just late right not doing things that they're supposed to do so i mean there's there's always reason so just be real careful with those kind of groups and make sure you're reading between the lines of somebody who's just legitimately been wronged or mm -hmm. just blowing smoke because they feel they've been wronged but the reality of it is that they just didn't handle the situation appropriately. exactly exactly all right so you guys uh you guys only hire a uh, 150 mile radius of of the terminal uh, for right now, we do. We we didn't um, until just recently, and right now our recruiting spiked, and my recruiting team is pretty awesome, and this is a pretty awesome company, so our retention has been really good. So okay. we just need a, to all kind of gather our bearings. So for right now, we're kind of just slowing down our recruitment, so we're mm -hmm. just keeping it down to the 150-mile radius. Will that open up again? Probably, and it will probably be just a little bit after the first of the year. Okay. Do you guys, do you guys offer... Um sign on bonus and we not really we don't we don't promote that way mm -hmm. okay we yeah. what happens when you when you have sign on bonuses is you get you get people that are just chasing that that money and they're short term they're short term employees we rather have you long term exactly okay okay all right for pre-employment drug testing right um let me ask you this so if I do decide to come on, would I be able to do my pre-employment drug testing before I come to orientation, or would that all be taken care of at orientation? 
We do it. It depends on what kind of orientation are you coming in from. If you're coming in and already having your CDL, then yes, it will be done prior to you kick out in a truck. If you're coming in for school, um, mm -hmm. we do them randomly throughout the course of the five weeks that the school goes on. Well, okay, so the the school program is five. So it's not one of them two to three weeks deal for the school. It's an actual five weeks. So I'm assuming through that right. five weeks, you guys get down to the nitty gritty of making Correct. sure that student becomes a professional truck driver. Correct. Okay, I'm liking you guys already. Okay, okay. So uh, for full pre-employment, uh, for the drug testing, what do you guys do, hair follicles, or do you guys do urine? No. If you go to the DOT website, the fmcsa.com, mm -hmm. and look at the guidelines and rules and regulations, you'll get the answer for all of that with every truck driving company there. Oh, okay, okay. Well, no, because some companies, <laughs> some companies, you know, they want you to do urine tests. Uh, some companies take hair. So that's what I was just kind of wondering. Some things are not legally to do with the FMCSA. Oh, okay. So. Okay, okay. Okay. What's, what's you guys' policies on felons? And, um, and, we, and, and. We do second chances. Oh, okay, okay. Same thing for drivers that has like, you know, like DWIs and DUIs? Five years. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So since you guys, uh, you know, since you guys do both uh, school and, and for drivers that, that are experienced, for me, I already have my DLT card. Would I have to come in and, and take another physical, or can I continue using my DLT card when I come on with you? It just depends on how, when does it expire, and mm -hmm. did you get a full... Did you get a, a full uh, year or two full years? full copy. No, no. if you got a full copy, if you got the long form. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got both the, the long form and the short form. form. <laughs> All right. So, of course, orientation and the schooling, I'm assuming, is, is in Troy, Missouri? Correct. All right. Um, so, through orientation, let me ask you this. I know you say we don't do sign-on bonus, but for orientation, do we get paid? for orientation and if so how much is it and how long is the orientation um if you go through school here no you do not get paid for it and orientation is just a day and it's in part of your one of the days during your school week oh, okay okay what about for an experienced driver um it just it depends on the experience and what kind of driver are you are you a trainee that we got to kick out with a trainer if so then you'll have a one day orientation if you're a solo driver and you've got enough experience where you don't have to kick out with a trainer then it's a day and a half okay okay awesome awesome so after after the after the students come through the school and they will continue to go out with a driver trainer right correct okay That's how about your over to be an employee gotcha quick question about your driver trainers because there's a lot of them out here that's just doing it just for the money how about you guys what's the average length of your driver trainers that have been training our drivers our drivers are our trainers are pretty awesome um that's we do an extensive hiring practice with before we allow them to become trainers and if that's what they're in it for is money then that's not what we pick them to become trainers for um, our trainers, we do quarterly meetings with them. We have um, trainings constantly. We touch base with them almost on a daily basis while they have their students. So, no, our trainers aren't in it for the money. I mean, is the money a nice perk? Sure. But that's not why they do it. Awesome. This, but, um, this, this is an awesome, awesome what, company. What company or what, what's your, what kind of employment do you do now? Uh, no, I, I, me, I, I'm a truck driver. Yes, I, I've been driving for over four years. Uh, and basically, like I said, I, basically what I do is still, I'm still doing my homework. You know, it's the, the, the studying never stops because, you know, when somebody starts talking about a company that looks interesting and that wants to know a little bit more about that company, that's what I that's where I come in at because I'm like if he's interested in the company and he sent me information about the company I'm like okay I got to get more information so I can so I can pass this on you know what I'm saying so right. yeah this I mean so far so far so good because I haven't heard of it's called witty brothers right witty bros correct I haven't I correct. I haven't 
I haven't heard of the company. And I, I don't think I... Well, we've well, been maybe, since the 40s. Maybe I've seen maybe one... Maybe I haven't been looking, but maybe one or two trucks. But, yeah. Um, are the... Um, what's the what's the CPM starting for for an experienced driver? A uh, driver that has uh, four years going on five. It'd be about 48 cents per mile, but we do also run LTL, so ours is a little different. Okay. So there's a lot of other aspects to that, like there's stop pays and all the kinds of different things. Okay. But I, I do apologize. I would love to talk to you more, but I have a meeting I have to be in right at 2.30. Did you want me to pass you back over to Darren? Or yes, yes, please good? do. No? But thank you. Thank you for your, okay, ma'am, thank, thank you. you for your time. I really do appreciate it. Yes, mm -hmm. please. Thank you. What are you, brothers? This is free. Yes, Bree. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just talking to the supervisor there a second ago. She was supposed to transfer me back to Darren, but are you are you a recruiter? I mean, if you are, I, th that's perfect. Okay, how can I help you? Okay, okay. So I was just got I just got finished talking to uh to to the young lady uh that was mm -hmm. that was the supervisor and she said she has to, you know, go to a meeting. So, uh, oh man. So we 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 had a good conversation going on. So so I'm going to start up from where I left off with her. So what's the uh what's the CPM uh that you guys offer for a 4-year driver uh that that's going on 5 years? What's the what's the okay, starting where's your CPM? Current location? I'm sorry. Where are you located at? Uh no, I'm I'm located out of Ohio, but I already know about the 150 mile radius. So now basically I'm doing is just asking questions about the company just in case, you know, I decide to move to Missouri or just take the information so with me. So typically we preferably do not throw it a cent per mile unless we can actually get proven facts that you've been with a company for so many years. Okay, okay. I don't want to sit here and promise you something and completely lie to you. Well, no, that's that's cool. You can you, can you give me a ballpark? Well, like I said, we'd have to get something on paper to get it proven. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let me ask you this: uh, the miles is the miles um, is the miles based on straight miles, or is there a sliding scale there? Because I noticed that you guys do L LTL. So we pay by mileage, and then we also pay by stop. Oh, okay, okay. So if I come in, like, you know, when I come in. You know, I probably might be broke or whatever the case may be. Do you guys offer a pay a weekly pay advance? We do. Okay, awesome, awesome. How about per diem? Is it offered and is it mandatory? We do have a per diem option, yes. Oh, okay, but it's not it's not mandatory though, right? No. Okay. So do you guys offer vacations, holidays, pay? We do, but you'd have to be. We don't offer holiday pay, but we do offer vacation pay, and you would have to be here after a year before that would even start. Oh, okay, okay. How about uh, breakdown and detention pay? We do detention pay. Okay. Now, the 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 type of the type of freight that you guys carry, because I went on the website, <laughs> you guys mm -hmm. you guys just do reefer or yes, refrigerated. Sir. You you guys don't have no other divisions there. No, we do not. Okay, so of course, uh, of course, detention pay. You guys will pay because I used to I used to drive reefer, and I <laughs> I definitely know the wait times for some of these food companies. I hate craft. <laughs> uh, how about layovers? How often layovers happen? Not very often, but we do pay out if they were to get laid over. Okay. Now, being that this is th this is just all food, right? You you guys don't do hazmat mm -hmm. at all. No. Okay. Let's say if I decide to go and get my hazmat, would you guys reimburse me for it or no? We would not because we have nothing to do with hazmat. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. How many um how many miles I can average a week there? So it kind of just depends. I mean, we've got runs to all forty eight states, so it's kind of just going to depend on where they're putting you out of. Okay. Do you guys just do you guys offer dedicated and and some regional yeah. or just you guys just do yep. all forty eight? Yep. All right. What about um? Well, let me ask you this: Are you guys uh? What do you how, how what do you call it? Are you guys a force dispatch company? Like, 
do you guys force dispatch up in New York and California? Um, I wouldn't consider us force dispatch, but if we ask you to pick up a load or to head out on a load, we would hope that you wouldn't sit there and deny us all the time. Okay, okay, okay. Of course, all miles is paid, right? So what, how is it calculated? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, is it calculated Ram McNally, Hub Miles, People, House, Home Goods? So we literally run zip miles, everything by your odometer. Oh, okay. So, oh, practical. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Man, the more I find, the more information I get about this company, the more I'm liking it. I am liking, liking this company, man. Uh, do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? And do you guys Thank also you. reimburse for parking? We do not for parking. But you guys do run the tolls, right? There, There's no problems yes, running the tolls, right? Nope. Okay. All right. Now, being that you guys is all refrigerated, what's the percentage of dropping hook there? We don't do a whole lot of dropping hook. That's for our local guys. Okay. All right. So let's get into the nitty gritty. How's the hometown policy there? For where you're currently at? Well, let's say... Let, let's. Currently yeah. You'd like four weeks, four to five weeks out before we get you home. Okay, okay. So uh, what's the so what's the maximum amount of days I can take off for that? So if you're out for four to five weeks, you get four to five days home. Okay, okay. All right, cool, awesome. So um, I hear that from from talking to the supervisor. The the, mm -hmm. the the turnover there is is awfully low, I take it. Okay, yeah, correct. Okay. How about a pet and rider policy? What's, what's the policy? We do not have that? a pet policy. We haul a reefer, obviously. We're dealing with food. Just pets don't really combine with food. Okay. What about a rider policy? We do have rider policies. You do have to be here for at least 14 days. Okay, okay. So basically, I can jump in there and take my family with me if I want to. <laughs> yeah, oh man, we'll be. Um, if I decide, so if I'm driving with you guys, because I was talking to the uh, to the other two people about your mm -hmm. the school program that you guys got, but you know I'm talking as a, as an experienced driver right now. So if I decide to quit. Let's say the marriage between me and Witty Bros ain't all that hot, and uh, I say, okay, well this ain't for me. I want to want to go ahead and uh, turn in the truck. What what would be the policy for me to turn in the truck? So obviously we would expect her two weeks, but I'm pretty sure you and my manager had already went over that. Oh uh, no, no, we we haven't actually. So that's fine, but like I said, we expect two weeks out of you. I don't see why that would be an issue. Oh okay, okay. All right. So, what equipment that you guys offer? What 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 trucks I be driving? Okay, listen. Can I take a number for you and then have somebody call you back? I actually have to go into a meeting. Oh. Okay. Sorry, uh, it's meeting day for us, so we're kind of busy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, I I could call you back. Uh, what's uh, what's is is what's Darren? What's a number for you? Oh, what's a good number for me? The the number that yep. showed up. That's fine. But there you have it. Witty bros, witty bros. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish <laughs> the conversation, but I well, basically, I was I was almost there anyway. I, I only had like I only had like a few more questions, you know, like what kind of equipment they had, and and you know, the, the you you guys know the regular questions that I usually ask towards the end, like what kind of equipment you got, where what's what's inside the trucks and what's the trucks governing that but basically you know from three individual people you know we we got enough information to probably put witty bros up there as probably a good company to get with what do you guys think what do you guys think of the call i mean did you guys get did i get enough information for you guys to make an assessment that Witty Bros might be a company for you. Now remember, you know, they're they're not their their hiring radius has changed. So if you live within 150 miles of Troy, Missouri, then you'll probably be able to get in 
with uh, with Witty Bros. They do offer they do offer schooling, which is pretty good considering they offer a five year uh five year a five week training program. So I'm assuming within five weeks you you'll be good. You'll also be going out with one of their with one of their driver trainers that cares about you and not the money. So that's another good thing too about the company, about the information that I got from this company. So Witty Bros, what do you think? Out of Troy, Missouri, what do you guys think? Unfortunately they had a lot of meetings to go to today so they wasn't able to continue the conversation with me i'm kind of thinking nah uh nah let, let's stay positive let's stay positive with this company all right all right they might just send me some email and if they do i'll pass the email on to you if you want it but what do you guys think of the call what do you what do you guys think let me know in the comments below well, that's it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for this episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call to Witty Bros. Thanks to that subscriber for the suggestion. Um, and I, you know, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Again, what do you guys think of the call, man? If you guys like videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Share the video. And hit that bell for more content like this. You know what I'm saying? This is Lockout Men. And I'm glad. I am happy today. I was kind of sad yesterday. But I'm happy today. Great conversation with the little bit of people that I got a chance to talk to. Hopefully that works out for you guys. Let me know. Give them a call. Witty Bros. I'll get back at you in another video. Peace.